Hi everybody, hope you're all okay today. Today we're going to tell you the story of Daniel in the lion's den. And today I've got some helpers with me, so Alicia is going to be the voice of our lion telling you the story. So off you go, Alicia. Hello, I'm a lion. One day a man got thrown into our lion's den. I was so hungry and I really wanted to eat him up. People are my favourite food. But then something amazing happened. My mouth got stuck shut. I couldn't even move it. And then I didn't even want to eat him. It was so weird. The man was amazing. And I can't believe God was in our lion den. <laughs> Thank you, Alicia. So, here is our Daniel. Now, Daniel was a really, really good man and Daniel always liked to say his prayers to God. And other people in the world didn't like him to do that. They didn't like people to say prayers to God. They didn't believe in God. And they, they made a law that nobody could say prayers to God. But Daniel thought, no way, I still want to say my prayers to God. I still love God and I know that's the right thing to do. So Daniel carried on saying his prayers, even though he was told he couldn't do. So the ruler at the time had to throw him into the lion's den because he wasn't following the rules. So Daniel got put into the lions. Now the lions obviously wanted to eat him up because lions do like eating meat and people are meat, aren't they? Especially gazelles. <laughs> so they wanted to eat Daniel up. But God, because Daniel trusted so much in God, God came to help him and stopped the lions from eating him by shutting their mouths. Now that's an amazing story, isn't it? Wow. So today we've got a little craft for you. Ava, do you want to show your craft off that you made? Yep, yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. So Ava made a lion like this, like the one in the lion's den. But show her what it does. Show everyone what it does. That's the lion with its mouth open trying to eat Daniel. But then God closed the lion's mouth and sealed it closed like that. So you can have a go making this one. We can print this little template off. And then what you need to do then is colour it in and cut it out. And then I'm sure your mummy or daddy can help you make a little fold to close that lion's mouth. And like open one. it. And open it again close when Daniel's gone. Or you, you could say a little word in its mouth if you want. You could and say rah. You could say rah. Yeah. But then God closes the lion's mouth. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Right then, I think the song we're going to sing today is My God is so big, so strong and so mighty because there's nothing that God he cannot do. do. <laughs> Just like closing a lion's mouth to help out Daniel. Okay, ready then girls, are you going to help me? Yes. Ready? My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. The rivers are his, the mountains are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. Well done everybody. Right then, let's get our cross for our prayer okay we ready everyone to say our prayers to god thank you god for helping daniel when he needed you and help us to trust in you just like daniel did amen go. Here we go. thank you god for not letting daniel not get turtle eaten amen amen what do you want to do yep Thank you, God, for all that he had created and thank you for letting Daniel not be eaten. And he's the, well, only, well, in that time, he was the only one that did prayer, so he, the only one that did the right. Amen. I've put a little link on as well onto the website so you can watch a little video of Daniel in the lion's den as well. So if you want to click on that video, you can watch that too. Okay, everyone, bye. bye. Have a lovely bye. day.